بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم One of the greatest challenges that our younger generation is facing today is the challenge of social media, platforms such as TikTok and Instagram. Many of our youngsters are spending endless hours on these platforms. And what is the message that is being communicated to them? Some of these messages are very disturbing and we have to be aware of them. Many of the messages that you find on platforms such as TikTok are teaching our youngsters that if you want to become famous, if you want to become popular, if you want attention, then do something crazy, do something wild. Go and record yourself doing a crazy dance that violates our principles in the religion of Islam, the dancing, the haram music. That's how you'll become popular, that's how you'll get more comments, that's how you'll get more likes. And many of our youngsters are being impacted by this. They think that if you want to become successful, you have to become popular on these platforms. But now it's the month of Ramadan. It's the month of reflection, spiritual reflection, psychological reflection, emotional reflection, intellectual reflection. Let's recalibrate our compass and see how can I get the attention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The angels that God has created, the righteous ones, Imagine if you were told you have to depart this world in a couple of months. Does it really matter now that you are getting a lot of likes on social media, that you're popular on social media? Does that matter anymore? It doesn't matter because I know I will leave this dunya only with the true, good, sincere deeds that I offered. None of that glamour and commotion on social media is going to help me. But yes, if I do something sincerely for Allah, for humanity, then I have God's attention. And if Allah gives you His attention and He accepts your deeds, then you have become successful. We learn from the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, from young Imam Ali when he declared that he is the first follower of the Prophet at age 10. We learn from Lady Fatima in her early teenage years, she was leaving a legacy for the world. Lady Maryam السلام, when she gave birth to Prophet Isa السلام, she was in her young teenage years. They are teaching us that when you are in your teenage years, build a legacy. Don't underestimate yourself. Today many teenagers, they're not even thinking of a legacy. When I become 40 and 50, then I'll think about leaving a legacy. In this month of Ramadan, reflect, contemplate and start building that legacy from now a legacy that's based on purity, a legacy that's based, that's based on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a legacy that is based on productivity, contributing something to your society.